let's keep going. What did she do? I think we've asked her to uh, make a small accident happen before, and it was similarly um alarming. So I just go straight to the Hulk of Auras. Let's go. Stop the wagon. Now. I feel a little self-conscious over the fact that I said I'd been feeling suicidal today and nobody said two words about it. I did. Okay, people did say something about it. I also said something about it and I missed it in chat the first time, but now that I know it's uh, specifically suicidal feelings, like, that really genuinely sucks. The black wagon has shuddered to a stop en route to the Hulk of Auras. There is some commotion as Volfred motions for everyone to be still. There, ahead. It seems we have a visitor. He points into the distance. However, when you scan the horizon, everything is still. You see no sign of whomever Volfred referred to. Still, he indicates caution. I am certain that I saw someone. Directly in the road. A tense moment passes, then another. Then, Volfred tenses up. There he is. Look there. You look toward where he signals, and then, at last, you see the cause of his concern. There is no mistaking who it is. Is it Aurelek? It sure is! Aurelek stands there, near motionless, atop some forgotten rock jutting from the immeasurable depths, a fair distance away. He stands directly on the path of your black wagon. Yet, he shows no sign of acknowledging your wagon's presence. He appears only to be waiting for something. Likely for you all. Of course it's Aurelek, he's got such an obsession. I mean, I would too if I were him. Volfred gets your attention. Quietly. Well, my kin, I'm open to suggestions here. Aurelek likely hasn't come to pay a social visit. Aurelek stands in your path, what shall you do? Press forward, turn back, or hail him. Definitely hail him. Hail and well met. There has to be a way to reason with Aurelek and bridge differences between him and his former triumvirate. Perhaps he has come to negotiate. Aurelek does a huge amount of research to figure out what your most likely route is, gets there three hours ahead of time, then stands dramatically in the road and pretends not to notice you. Classic. Honestly classic. I am uncertain Aurelek is willing to be reasonable at this point, after everything he has been through. Though, I am hopeful you are right. You give the signal for the drive imps to start the wagon, and head toward him. But just as you reach the point where Aurelek once stood... He has vanished. Surveying our strength, perhaps. His motives are plain, but his intentions unclear. Indeed, Aurelek is nowhere to be found now. The unnerving encounter causes everyone to fall silent for the remainder of the trip. Well, good times, good times. I mean, he ran away as soon as we said hi. Clearly he is a brave demon man. Your wagon finally arrives at the Hulk of Auras, where there is still no sign of Aurelek, or your next adversaries for that matter. Your companions organize a quick search about the premises, leaving you to watch the wagon until the rite's commencement. Ooh, interesting. But somebody still wants to talk. He did all that just to disappear mysteriously? Yep, no, it's great. Slug Market, we'll talk to our companions first. They get precedence. HOLY SHIT! 
was not expecting him in here. Join the team. Join the team. Join the team. Something is wrong. Someone is here. Alone. With you. <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> he seems to have something on his mind. Incredible. Aurelac seems to be examining various objects in the wagon. Whether he has noticed you, you cannot tell. What he is doing here, and how he got in unnoticed, you cannot imagine. Wait, don't talk to him, just read the book and ignore him. Make him wait for your attention. Okay, that would have been good. I regret not doing that. You watch him go about whatever he is doing, examining all sorts of things that you and your fellow exiles gathered on your journey. He shakes his head. All of these trinkets. This wagon is most different now. Welcoming and yet... I am unwelcome here it seems. Buddy! You met Hedwin before he left. You're totally welcome here. Like, join the team, be a friend. We'll take it. In my own wagon. He directs his gaze at you, acknowledging your presence for the first time. You, a mere shadow. Tell me something. Who are you to them? Warlock wishes to know your connection to the Nightwings. Their reader, their friend, no one, or say nothing. The relationship to this band has grown to become more than just your role in the rites. He's gonna go on about how Eriso is apparently his friend too, right? Like, he's gotta. That is an intense there. Stare, ugh. Oh boy, it's that time in the stream. But yeah, gonna go with Frond. You tell Aurelac that you have travelled all across the downside with this group, and count them as your trusted friends. It is a different group now than in his day. A friend, is it? Beware then. For the Nightwings did not always treat their friends with all due charity. Relay to them a message for me, Shadow. Tell them I shall have my knight. He strides right past you toward the door, but then he turns to you again once more, being extremely extra. I shall have my knight. Then... Aurelac is gone. So extra. Your fear implores you to reach for the door and flee. What courage you have prevents you. Interesting change in pull text. Wonder if anything else is. Doesn't seem to. What about the book? No. Sandra's status training her beyonders. I wonder if she has anything to say about Aurelek though. Yeah, we're totally going up against that team for the final fight. Th there's no doubt at this point. You have returned. How can I help you, if at all? Okay, so no, she didn't notice Aurelek, I guess. You know where to find me. Well, I guess let's let's move along. Several of your companions return as you exit the wagon. You explain what happened. However, none of them saw Aurelek. I believe you, my kid. Aurelek, he he is unwell. It is good you did not come to harm. Now, 
Let's make sure the same can be said of the wagon. You and the others conduct an exhaustive search in and around the black wagon for any signs of objects missing or tampered with, as well as signs of damage or foul play. The search yields nothing. No one finds any sign that anything was moved or tampered with. Even the drive imps seem calm. The incident leaves you questioning your own recollection of what happened. You try to clear your mind, for the ride is soon now to commence. Slug, I know, I'm going to the slug. Hey guys, come on in. Say now, whatever happened to that smiley headwind guy? Did he really get out of here like I've been hearing or what? While the bearer's triumvirate is banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. Good trinket! Expensive trinket. Oh my god, you found a slug emote. Can we buy something? I feel so bad every time we don't. Look, I will buy something from the slug market for our final liberation, right? That is... That is what I am willing to extend to here. Name and buy nothing, Dad. I know. I'm sorry. You're extremely rude. As the sky above the Hulk of Auras darkens, your companions watch in silence and await the commencing of the rites. So Gilman speaks up after a time. Thus do the stars begin to shine again in all their glory. Now everything is ready, and the stars begin to shine once more, precisely as foretold. By Sir Gilman. That's too many! Oh look, is luck as one. Um, hmm, let's just, again. Nope. Nope and on out of there. Okay. Now I know. Oh, hi. Along with their remaining I've forgotten your name still, place. Brandon. You managed recently to rid yourself of yet another one. Your How dare you shit talk, Hedwin? As with you, they must be very desperate for their freedom. They shall not make it any easier from here. Speaking of people who are extra, thanks voice. Hundred and hundred. Okay, it's even at least. Hey, look who wants a piece of us again. It's the damn Nightwings. Here to knock us down another peg or two again, I guess. Well, at least you got old curly horns out of this dump, I gotta give you that. One look at her, and you just knew that she was too good for this place. Though, maybe that ain't saying all that much. Octopus, I missed this area before. This is where we met Sir Gilman. Any of you Nightwings see her again, you tell her something for me. You let her know Iggy says hi. You let her know. Not that she'll remember some dumb lunk like me. Where does humility come from? Then Ignaria shoves on his mask. Alright, Tempers. Let's give it to him like we still got a chance. He's being realistic, but also like... In the most pessimistic way possible. I admire the sportsmanship at least. Go on then. <laughs> She's got better prospects, it's true! Okay, so Bertrude... How are we doing for levels? I think I'll go Faye Gilman Bertrude? Or do I- I guess I should at least play Volfred once. And if I lose this right, let's be real, it's not going to make much of a difference at this point. Okay. Volfred. Um, I don't know how fast Volfred is actually. And now I can't check. Um, 
I still want Gilwen. Like, I need somebody fast. Bertrude, I guess? Like, Bertrude is just so good on defense. Come on. We await. Predictably decided? Wow. Rude, honestly. How dare you call me out like this? Alright, you damn Nightwings. Let's see what you got. Oh, similar teams, huh? Um. Uh, mm, mm, depends on what you think is almost. Can you, like, get into the flowers? Uh, excuse me. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I don't know how I feel about Volfred, honestly. A stroke of luck is all. Um, uh, I mean, okay. Come on, walk into this. Ah! Nope, okay. Well, this is fun. Ah, flip, yeah. Th this is a bad team for me. This is not going to go well. Come on, Bertrude. Can I get both of them? I cannot. Can you, like, get out of here, please? Okay. Oh, I don't like that lag after he... Oof. This is... This is really tough, honestly. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Volfred's almost back. Ah! Okay, I, I did something. Get out. Oh, I am so slow. Nope. God. I ask myself the same thing every day. I need to get rid of this witch. She's really fast. Good. Excuse me. No, get in there! Okay. We've done something. It seems the night wings are a bit ahead. Good, we need it. Um, okay. Got a fast. Whoa. I don't like that you're standing on the ball. What is making me jump? Is it... Yeah, it's them. Alright. We are getting there. Not sure what Volfred's competitive advantage is. You are able to, like, block things pretty well. And, like, you do have the teleporty thing. Thank you. Maybe I can just, like, block this. Oh, no, he... he does not let that happen. God, Bertrude's real good though. Uh, let's do that. Ah, uh, excuse me? Ah, uh, like rude, honestly. Wow, they just destroyed my flower, huh? Okay, that worked out for me. Oh, flip. I really need to get this away. Ah! Oh, this is really bad. Okay. Get out of here. God's sake. Whoa! How did I get over there? That is really mysterious to me. Oh, run! Oh, shit. I just- I cannot play with this. Disaster. He'd probably be a good Bertrude replacement? Yeah. Like, this- this is a good starting move. How very fortunate. Ah, uh, fortunate? Did you see that? That was so good, buddy. Get- I think I'm just going to have to try and score with Sir Gilman as much as I can. 
You night wings, you've been practicing, ain't ya? My connection keeps fighting out, is it the same connection as Ash? No, we don't live together anymore. And what about you, Oogie? You're just a washed up old goat, you threw. How long are you gonna keep it? This getting weaker and weaker, worse and worse, huh? Come on then, Nightwings, finish it already, will ya? Sooner we wrap this up, sooner we all can catch some shut eye and put an end to this damn day. Go away! God, if I could just... What is making me jump? Is it the ship? Oh god, I need to get over that. Nope! It's true. I don't think I'm gonna get out of this. Ah, oh, this one, please. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh god, I just, I don't have anyone who can aura cast. Like, okay. You wanna... Okay, that kind of works. Gimme! Why? What the fuck? I was trying to do the aura cast with Gilman, but like... Mm -hmm. Uh, little busy. Oh my god. Just go. Look, you're gonna have to go. Thank you. Nope, 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 nope. No, you don't. Come on! He threw it! And, yep, okay. I think we've lost, yeah. Watch Ash win this at six? Unfortunately not. Oh well. There had to be one. And my team. <laughs> ain't even broke a sweat. You Nightwings ain't so tough as before. Be seeing you around. Next time, we shall have to do better. More honor to one day regain! I like how optimistic Gilman is. Is anyone gonna like... Level up? No, that, that was not much experience at all. Okay, so yeah, I'm never using Volfred again, I gotta say. Now go and wallow in the downside for a while. No problemo, buddy, that's the plan. So I think maybe a team... I don't like Faye either, like something about her running just does not mesh with my brain. But I think maybe Gilman, Faye, Bertrude? Back at the Black Wagon, you find the lone minstrel examining your fellow exiles after they fell to the tempers in the right. It is plain to you that none of them look well. The lone minstrel notices you there and turns to you. Rita, the faster turning of the cycle of the rites has put a strain on everyone. We have multiple cases of banishment sickness this time. Well! It is fortunate that your other companions are available to conduct the coming rites, because I fear that this group here requires rest. You bid Volfred a swift recovery, and he nods weakly in response. He has had one match! Heck off! You exchange a look with Bertrude, who seems exhausted after the last rite. As for Sir Gilman, it is clear to you he wishes to be left alone right now. You leave the lone minstrel to look after them, and turn your attention to the stars that remain shining in the dark outside. Well... 
So Bertrude and Volfred. Didn't say anything about Gilman. But I think I should probably rest Gilman just in case. We need him for the liberation, right? The stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Seek now your destination. Okay, so we've got the Pyre Hearts. Chastity and the accusers. What's our planner say? Oh shit, like everything's been been mixed up. Do they all get banishment sickness when you lose? Um I mean, I wouldn't know, but uh I assume it would have at least a, a larger effect on um on their morale. I think... Do I want to fight the Pyre Hearts though? They're so fast. And Faye's jump was particularly annoying, I remember. Chastity... I mean... I don't... I don't know! The accusers? I think he had curs, which are also fast. Can I uh where are we? Chastity. It doesn't tell me the team members. And I forget who else Manly had with him. Oh, and it's the weird arena, no. Which arena is this? That's the one with the imps. I don't even remember this arena. Fuck it. You know what? Actually, no. Okay, we haven't fought the accusers in a while. Let's let's do it. Very well then, reader. Once more you shall face Lendl and the Accusers when the stars align. We may set course for the spring of Jomwer at dawn. For now, please get some rest in the remaining dark of night. Nobody wants to chat. Oh, I wanted to check. Like, does it say that they've got banishment sickness? Okay, so Gilman's still good to go. So they must like be giving us at least three every time. Oh, but that means I'm definitely going to lose Gilman for the right. Oh boy. Sandra? Oh, should check Sandra. And once more you have returned to me. What is it, Rita? Nope, okay. Sorry, Sandra. Take care of yourself then. Okay, good times. I believe we're going to be flying now. Where are we headed? Oh, further down. We haven't been down this far in a while. Whee! Goodbye, other flying thing! Uh, Glue Hive. Bertrude. Sir Gilman. Find something of value. Never, ever the money. Let's go. Locate the missing drive imps? They were missing? Your intentions to explore the rocky pathways of Gluehive were dashed when, on your arrival, several of the wagon's strong willed drive imps escaped. Fortunately, their disposition toward mischief proves predictable enough, and soon all the imps are once again accounted for. However, Bertrude also has a nasty bite to show for it. Pathetic creatures that would bear their teeth against us. You dress the minor wound, which ought to heal soon, but the incident took much of your remaining time this day, and left both you and Bertrude awaiting its merciful conclusion. Bertrude lost two quickness for the next ride? That's fine, we can't use her anyway. 